Hello kids! You are now tuning in to Relearnings! I am Teacher Rina. I will be with you in teaching new lessons. Are you ready to learn kids? So, just relax and enjoy this video for today. Matter. Do you know that everything in this world is made up of matter? The water that you drink, the air that you breathe, and the food that you eat are examples of matter. Matter comes in different shapes, colors, sizes, and textures. It is no taking that it occupies space and has mass. Matter has different properties. The first property of matter is weight. Weight refers to the pull of gravity on an object. The unit of weight is Newton. Do you know that an object's weight on Earth is different from its weight in space? An object weighs more on Earth than in space. Mass Mass refers to the amount of matter. The mass of an object is the same everywhere. It is commonly expressed in milligram or mg, gram or g, or kilogram or kg. Take a look of this picture. The mass of an object on Earth is still the same. The weight of the man on Earth is 980 Newton, while the weight of the man in the moon is 162.2 Newton. Another example is the weight of the boy on Earth is around 560 Newton, while its weight on the moon is only around 90 Newton, but its mass is always 56 kilogram. Heavy objects such as cement, rice, vegetables, and fruits usually express their mass in kilograms. While the mass of food products like noodles, pasta, and canned goods is given in grams. On the other hand, the mass of medicine, capsules, or tablets, or small object is in milligrams. Now let's have a short activity. I want you to identify whether the mass of the following objects are measured in kilograms, grams, and milligrams. Number one, capsule. What do you think is the answer? Is it kilogram, grams, or milligrams? Number two, a sack of rice. Number three, salt. Or number four, a basket of fruits. Number five, vitamin. And number six, canned goods. Are you ready to check your answers? Let us check your answers. For number one, capsules, the answer is milligram. Number two, kilogram. Number three, gram. 
Number four, kilogram. For number five, vitamin, the answer is milligram. And for number six, the answer is gram. What is your score, children? Very good. The third property of matter is volume. Volume is the space occupied by matter. To determine the volume of an object, you can use a ruler to measure its length, width, and height. The formula in measuring the volume is length times width times height. For example, the length of this figure is 7 cm. It will be multiplied to its width which is 4 cm. The product will be multiplied again to its height, which is 5 centimeters. So the answer is 140 cubic centimeters. I want you to find the volume of the following objects. Use the formula length times width times height for number one. The height is 5 cm, its width is 5 cm, and its length is 5 cm. What do you think is the volume? I will give you time to compute. For the next figure, the height is 5 cm. The width is 4 cm and the length is 12 cm. Remember, to compute for the volume of an object, multiply the length to its width and height. Let's check your answers. For number 1, the volume for the first object is 125 cubic centimeters. For the second object, the volume is 240 cubic centimeters. Next problem. Find the volume of the following objects. For number 3, the height is 5 centimeters, the length is 4 centimeters, and the width is 3 centimeters. What is the volume of of the object. For our last object, the height is 15 centimeters, the width is 10 centimeters, and the length is 12 centimeters. What is the volume? For number 3, the answer is 60 cubic centimeters. And for our last number, the answer is 1,800 cubic centimeters. What is your score, children? What if you want to find the volume of irregularly shaped solid? What will you use? Very good. You will use the water displacement method. In this method, you measure the amount of water that rises or flows out when an object like stone is placed inside a container with water. Observe the illustration. When a stone was placed inside the graduated cylinder, what happened? Very good. The level of water rises. The rise in the water level 
indicates the volume of the solid. The water rises since the stone now occupies the space the water occupied. Volume may be expressed in liters or millimeters. Ja, well then, kids! You have finished another lesson for today. Did you learn something? Yes, of course. So, just tune in to Relearnings! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for other adventure lessons. <laughs>